Hello and welcome. Siuri is here with Mech Warrior Online. And this here is Blood Asp D variant. Now obviously this build of triple UAC 5s and an Ultra 10 is something you can run on any Blood Asp. Because just put in the Omnipods and smack in the guns and go to town. However, I'm just running it on the uh, D variant of Blood Asp here. And this is Forest Colony Classic. There is something about Forest Colony Classic that I really like. Maybe because it it, it is an old map and I, I used to play when it was like 8 vs 8 and, and so on. Uh, I played back then. But anyway, all of that aside, what I actually like about Forest Colony Classic from time to time. And also Ro Classic Frozen City. Same thing. Um, from time to time I like it from the point of view that you basically walk forward for 30 seconds or less and you are already in the action. Well, granted it doesn't really um, make a great map for all sorts of long range maneuvering and other stuff but here this is the kind of stuff you have minute and a half into the game where Somebody really wants to just charge at you, for whatever reason. And it's like, hey, let's have action. And action we shall have. And here, let, let's, let's fight over this thing. Having high, high, high mounted hard points for guns is really good for peeking over little hills and ridges and, and other things. And of course, I ate a whole lot of more damage there than I originally intended, because there was a lot of things over there. But there is also a whole lot of things, and I'm being shot at by friendlies as well, it seems like. But people are walking right through my line of fire, so I am welcome, or rather willing, to stand here and let myself be Show that a little bit when I have free, uh, free shooting to be done. One of the problems with with the really high mount on the blood asp is obviously that the, the ear are visible. Like, you can shoot over hills really well, but that also means that everybody can shoot the, at the ears you have. And of course, if, if enemies just want to trade at ranges like this, this build works really well for trading at ranges like this. I mean, essentially working at the, well, basically the effective range of these guns, which is just fantastic. And also working over a, a reach line I, I had kind of easy time pulling back from. However, now as my team is pushing, no reason to stand back there, let's push with the team and start catching people up, especially since we are 5-0 in the lead. This is a nice fast drop here on this particular map, and this particular map, same same as mentioned on, on Frozen City Classic as well, the map really just blends itself so well to really, really quick games, and also makes pretty good use for brawlers as far as maps go. It, it works pretty well for brawlers. So there is that. And I managed to managed to nap that leg. So there is there is some some decent shooting. And I'm obviously pouring fire, just you know, missing a lot of shots, but I figure by now the game is basically done. And of course, uh, I am seen as the big threat here, even though there are people wandering around, which is why I was getting shot at from the top of the hill and whatnot. Everybody Everybody sees a blood asp these days. Well, the same with the direwolf in front as well, who is now taking a lot of damage. But everybody who she sees a blood asp is basically aware that these things can do a lot of damage. The same way Mad Cat Mark II Bravos are like, hey, that thing is dangerous, let's shoot it. So. Hello, Thunderbolt, come up down here and fight me. And, and well, I'm being shot in the back by, by stuff, so. Hello. Oh, I think I shot a friendly there for, by accident. Well, that thing is now gone. No more LRMs for you, and no more you, and then there is just the Thunderbolt. And that would be this match done. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you folks next time with more Mech Warrior Online.